And welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Divinity Original Sin 2 where we left the last time we killed a demon. It was beautiful. And uh, there's very clearly some sort of armor set down here? Let's go take a look at those in a second here. For now, let's let this guy out. I don't know who he is, but he doesn't deserve to be locked in a demon pit. Wet eyes, red face, soiled garb. The dwarf suffering is writ on his body and soul. He opens his mouth to speak, revealing a gaping darkness where his tongue should be. Good news, the doctor's dead. The dwarf's eyes widen in gratitude. He blinks. Yet no tears fall from the pink goo that's collected in the corners. What happened? His lips part. Drool trickles from his lower lip, but he speaks no words, and there is no meaning to be found in his formless throat burble. Struck dumb by the look of things. Poor guy. There's nobody in there. There's yet another way down over there, but let's go take a look at the things over here. That means we need to make level Artifacts 21 armor. Protected by magical shields. Now how do I open these things though? Doctor's prison key. Good find. Effective magical shields we can just open them. I don't know if these sets are any good. Let's take a look though. After we looted them. Lucky find. That set might be good. Under lock and key. Did I relock it close? That's great. Frost room and a ruby, and that's it. Oh no, there's display cases over here. What do they have in them? Nothing. There's a statue in this one. The scroll on this one. You don't recognize every word written down upon this scroll, but a shiver runs down your spine as you look through it, as if the runes themselves exude the power of magic they describe. Interesting. Alright, well. I'll take the painting of a landscape too, I don't know why. Let's go check down one more dungeon level. I guess we finished the demon. Let's go take a look at what we got from here from him. Back to the hall of echoes, obviously. Alright, first of all, let's take a look at those set pieces and then we'll ID these items. I'm growing soft, aren't I? Okay, so. Plus seven strength, minus six finesse, I don't care about finesse. Minus thievery, minus still willing, don't care about either of those. I'll lose a little bit of armor and magic resistance, but plus seven strength, I mean come on. That's many beautiful. More of those on my and tentacle lash, what does that even do? Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. Sold. What's next? The heart. We get wings, we reflect damage, we get 
Minus one action points? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Nope. Next one. Minus two wits. Don't care about that. Minus earth resistance. What's petrifying visage do? Expert warrior. <laughs> uh, okay. And the other one's up in this here. Let's take a look. She would lose some armor and some magic armor. Would gain initiative and some wits and some scoundrel. Not really great for her. The boots, however, I saw looked pretty good. So we lose a ton of armor and magic stuff, but seven finesse is a lot. <laughs> What's erratic wisp? I don't have many more of those on my sleeve. Teleport when hit with weapons or weapon skills. You know what? That might be kind of cool. Or it could be really terrible, but whatever. We'll see. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. And again, I might Something like to note that Anathema will never be finished for us because that quest bugged out for us. So that sucks, <laughs> but it just is what it is. I'm growing soft, aren't I? A strength helmet with summoning and wits. I mean, it's a helmet. Okay. What else we got? I wish I could sort this by level. That is quite the bow. I'm that might be a better bow time. than what we're currently using by a lot. That does... Wrong character. How much damage does this do comparatively? About 100 more a hit, plus one finesse, plus an initiative. Alright, well we'll ID the items we got first of all. From the fight. And then we're going to go hunt around for some level 21 stuff. <laughs> level 20 bow, it's not as good as the one we can buy. Have many more of those on my sleeve. I think that sword's better than what I'm currently using though for no red princess to swap those out. that we should buy the bow. It's amazing, actually. And we'll sell Bordolamus. <laughs> and we'll sell the... Oh. Prophecy Ring. Have many more of those on my sleeve. And the Falcon's Eye. And that belt. I'm not sure about those gloves. No, we have better gloves, right? Do we yeah, we swap them, so. Alright, offer gold to match. And there we go, we have a brand new, really nice bow. I don't have many more of those on my sleeve. Other than the Rafnar helmet, I don't see anything that I really want. Allied for hire. We could go check the town, which I think we will do. Let's put this bow on though. I'm Let's check our damage once we do. So our damage is currently 1421 to 1490. And it goes up to 1690 by 1770 basically. Pretty damn good. Also it's glowy. Alright city square. Let's take a look. There might be some cool things here. You ended my suffering. I tell her, him, it, that I was only too happy to help. I am a projection of the spirit of Elenessa. The demon is dead. I am no longer his slave. You have my gratitude. And in recognition of all that you've done, I shall give you the spirit of an elven morning star. What's that? Made of pure source. Oh. It will pierce your enemy's armor. I know you shall use it in the service of good. Fare you well, Demon Slayer. Fare you well. And we get another thing too. Soul of the Dragon as a level 20 staff. Or we can get a wand. Or we can get some... Strength Finesse Summoning Armor. 
Or we can get finesse pants. Might just take the staff and sell it. Ooh, it's got 70 on it though. No, it's not that good. Uh, okay. Let's just grab the soul of the dragon. And we also have Gaze of Doom. And Nelson, we got a mace of some sort. It ended up with Sabiel for some reason. I think. There it is. Ghostly Morningstar. Unbreakable. Lead damage to lifesteal. It's not a bad Morningstar. It's just not very good. Does it even appear? I think it goes for armor, though. I think that's what its special thing is. At least that's what it sounded like from what she said. So what I might do is pause for a moment while we do all this moving. selling and buying and junk. Done, why don't you just skedaddle on out of here? I'm just gonna keep that alone, actually. But uh, we'll be reconvening in a few moments, and we will go start our descent into the cathedral. I think that's our goal. So hang tight. I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, we did some shopping. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Not really much more that I can find. Let's get started here. We're going into the cathedral proper. I wonder if we should talk to Arhu first. Oh, Pilgrim. May Lucian return. Offer a prayer for Lucian's return. The prayer seems to echo in the hollow space inside you. May Lucian return. May he return indeed. Maybe then we can stop praying and get back to our life. <laughs> I pledge my, I pledge life my heart to Lucian. Please return. All right, there's a path of blood. That's a lot of blood, actually. I think. Pledge my heart to Lucian. Please return. I pledge my Greetings. Have you come to join us in the endless prayer? Lucian's day wouldn't be the same without the faithful gathering to petition for his return. The more voices that join our cry, the better. Path of Blood sounds dangerous. Who created this trial? It was Lord Arhu's creation. He's the Christ's keeper, of course, and oversaw the construction himself. He wouldn't have done it without the help of Sanders, though. Quite a talent for engineering, that one. He spends most of his time tinkering with toys nowadays. Such a pity. But that's the price you pay for genius, I suppose. I leave. So confident. <laughs> There's supposed to be a secret thing somewhere. Let's quick save before we go running in here. Something closed the door. What's this? I found something. I pledge my heart. Be unlocked. It says there's a secret thing somewhere here, so let's go find that. There, a switch. There's a curious looking panel discreetly nestled upon the wall. Upon it is a lone button. Push it. Nothing happens. There's look. a slot above the button. It looks like something should be placed in it. Put the amulet in. The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. No, the sure. source fades from the amulet, consumed by the inner mechanisms of the button. You produce the scroll of atonement and read it aloud. Gears turn behind the ancient walls, almost like they're acknowledging the words you spoke. A nearby hatch in the floor unseals itself. Okay. And down we go. 80,000 experience to go downstairs. There's a waypoint here for the crypt. The statue reaches.
There's an altar here, and some sort of... Peering through the iron grating, you can see how it connects to the strange pipework beneath. Okay. The blessed altar seems to want to be touched. Lay hand upon the, the stone. The altar seems to respond. Beyond it, something creaks, as if the pipework was moving. The sound comes from beyond the altar, but also echoes and gurgles behind. Peering through the iron. Okay, let's try something else. A blessed stone altar. The cool stone seems to beg to be touched. Pass my hand across the flat altar top in a way as if wiping the slate clean. In the pit beyond, things move once more, okay. as if returning to their original position. Things move back to A blessed position. stone altar. The cool stone the in the plane. space beyond the altar, the pipework shifts. Alright, I get to choose now. Okay, what do I need to do here? Where's this supposed to go? Oh, I see. Okay. So, it needs to go from... I'm guessing it has to go from all three of the glowies? Or I have to get rid of that? What's my goal here? There, down, down. Do, do. No, that's, that doesn't matter. What does it? I have no idea. Down, down, down. Okay, so that one's done. Now this one goes doo doo doo. That one needs to turn. No, it doesn't. What am I supposed to see? The altar seems to respond. Oh, maybe I can do something to like make. Hang on. I need liquid to show me what I'm doing. There we go. That's much help. More helpful. A blessed in the space be. So it has to go from this way to these spaces, okay. The blood one must have to go to the red one, I guess. Oh, this has become painfully annoying. I might just pause and then just play around with this until I get it done and then show you guys the solution. I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, I think I figured this all out. So first of all, one thing you need to do is bless the blood. It can't just be normal blood, it has to glow like this other stuff does. And I think I've got the puzzle solved. So should this work, this is what you need to set it up like. A blessed stone altar. The cool the altar seems to resp Oh 
Why is that blood not being blessed? But anyways, let's see if this lines up properly, at least. Okay, so yes, I just need to get that blood there for some reason. It is correct, it just isn't quite correct. A blessed stone in the pit beyond. Things. M uh. Nope. I'm reloading. I'm not redoing all of that. That was a pain. I guess I could just look at my own video, but still. There's got to be a way to send under send blessed blood down. Maybe just stop being blessed. Alright, let's do it quickly. A blessed stone altar. The altar seems. There we go. Now it's working. Cool. Let's hope this works. We have one more bless if we need to, anyways. Oh no, we're out of source. gonna work. Also, I want that chest. How do I get down to it? I see. There's a hatch. We're also completely out of source, so that's not a great sign. Can I, like, jump down there, or...? not. Alright, let's move on to the next area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's gather up. We don't need to go alone. That's silly. The Line of Anguish, this one is called. So bad. Venture no farther. Only death lies beyond. Still gonna do it. Blood need not be spilled. Bones need not be broken. Preserve thyself and flee. Gotta go on. To cross this threshold is to plunge into thy grave. Do not decide in haste. Open it. Very well. Embrace thy fate. Calls the death room. There are like a lot of levers and it looks like a lot of traps. Careful now, that's a trap. Careful, I've Kill spotted the traps. a trap. Hmm. All right, that's a lot of traps. Let's just walk carefully. Careful now. That's a trap. Is Ripin just walking on the traps? Moving to rapid descent, cranial disruptor. These battle source puppets.
things or what's going wait a minute let's get out the light Keep killing these things, I guess, and we'll try and hit some levers. Careful now, that's a trap. Fearlessness, Yark, Discipline, Gravitas, Ambition. I've spotted a trap. Let's see. Okay, well, there are 
several things this could be, but I'm gonna try one and just leave it. Did something. I could feel it. I think that this whole game has been building up towards power. I think you have to spell power. Also, it was in one of the oh, it wasn't in one of the books. It was alluded to in one of the books. So I think it's the first Careful letter of each one. It feels like that leave it did something. E-O. Intuition, courage. WB. Maybe there isn't a W. Maybe I'm wrong. Fearlessness. Look out. Him. Something happened. Okay, I was right. Good. Maybe right. We'll see. E, empathy. Where did empathy go? That was back here, wasn't it? It worked. I heard gears moving. And then R. R is. Oh, hey, there's a chest armor here. Oh, lucky find. What is it? Level 21, incredible chest armor. Quite a bit less in terms of armor, though. A ton of strength. I think I'm gonna have to use it. Okay. We'll swap out the runes in a minute here, but let's figure this out. Let's get everyone down here. Except for Seville. Where's R? Grace, mercifulness, lawfulness, mercilessness. Isn't righteousness somewhere? I thought somewhere around here. Righteousness, there we go. I just missed it. And the gate is open. The death room is completed. We should probably swap out those runes now, I think, for pretty well at the end. Must and I should have a pause for one grid. second here. I just have to swap out my headphones. This one's getting low in power. I can tell because it starts to make a weird sound. Two seconds, guys. <laughs> 